Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be teaching you a really creative trick you can do with your text in Word. So here are a few examples. I'm going to go through each of these today really quickly so you can see how to really use these assets to your advantage. So I'm going to open a new document and I'm going to go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out a text box. You can use word art for this, but when you insert word art, the art will often come with a shadow, which you will have to take off if you don't want that shadow. This way you can just put in normal text and then you can customize it afterwards. So if I just deselect this text box, you can see we've got a black border, but we've actually got a white insert as well. So if I go to design and just change the color of our page, you can see we've now got this white insert. Now this does have an impact because when you want to put text very close together, it will overlap the text and this white background will show through. So I'm gonna get rid of both of those, but first I'm just going to insert some text. Then once I've selected this box, I'm going to go to shape format, I'm going to go over here, this is the outline icon. I'm just going to click on the drop down and select no outline. Then go over to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. And you can see now we've got rid of that background. If I deselect, you can see all the features of that text box have disappeared, but it still exists because as we click on the text, we can see this box will appear. Now I'm just going to customize my text. So I'm going to select it all, go to the home tab. I'm going to change the font and this time I'm going to use stencil and then I can use this icon here to just increase the font size to exactly what I want. There we go. Now it doesn't matter because you can change it after we've done this little trick but the only thing you won't be able to change is the actual text itself and I'll go further into that after I've just inserted small text. So I'm now just going to duplicate this because we've obviously taken the background and the border lines off. The easiest way to do that is select it, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag and then I'm just going to do that one more time and that saves me having to take out that background. So now I'm just going to choose a different word and I'm going to do that for each one and then customize it just changing the text to what I want and then I'll come back and we'll show you the trick and go through how to do the creative graphic design. Okay, so now you've got all of the words that you want to choose or just the one word. I'm just going to make sure I've centered all of this text. So select it, go to the home tab and click this center one. Now the trick to this now is to select your text, right click, go down to save as picture. I'm going to save mine as picture one to my desktop, but more importantly, you need to save this as a PNG file. You can do that by just clicking on this drop down and clicking PNG and then click save. Once you've saved all of your text, then we're just going to get rid of all of these words. I'm just going to change my page back to white. Then I'm going to go to insert pictures, click on the drop down and select pictures from file. And then in my desktop, I'm going to select this top picture, hold down my shift key, select all four and click insert. Now, when you insert any image into Word, you can't move it. So right click on it, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. I do that for all of them. Once you've done that, all of these now are treated like an image. So you can crop them, you can turn them, and you can size them. And that's the most important thing because when you create text in a text box, you can only change the size of it according to the font size. However, now, because it's a PNG, I can change all aspects of this text. I can make it smaller in terms of its height. I can condense it like this. Or I can go to the corner and I can move it out to change the size. And that's what gives you the real flexibility with this text, and that's the trick. The other thing is, of course, you can copy and paste them and use them in different ways. So let's say, for example, this top one, we can duplicate it, and then I can crop it. So select it, go to picture format and go to crop. And then with these black markers, you can just drag it in to whichever section you want to crop out and just press enter. And let's do that another time. Go to crop, then we're just going to crop out the R. Go 
Once again, we're just going to duplicate it, crop it, Okay, so now you can see we've got a variety of sections of this word and this will allow us to create any kind of configuration. So I can reduce the size of this one really easily without having to go to the font size, which might not allow you the perfect fit. As you can see, if I put these three letters under these letters, I might want them to line up perfectly. And I can do that now. If I resize and, and hold down my Alt or Option key, it will allow me to pull out gently. And I can do that really smoothly and line up that text. So this text is roughly now the size of this text. And that's very difficult to do just using text boxes. Then I can also format this letter here and resize it again using my Alt or Option key. Again, using that Alt or Option key when you move something you can also use that Alt or Option key to give you a bit more control. And then resizing this letter here, I can line it up now with the R. And then if I want this C here to line up with the top of the I, then I can do that as well. Now once you're happy with your design, what you can go ahead and do is select everything holding down the Command or Control key. Go to Group and select Group and now you've got one complete image. And now what you can do is also resize this, but if you hold down your shift key, it will resize according to the original ratio. If you don't, then it ends up squashing. If you do do that, don't worry, just go back one step, either by using Command or Control Z, or by using this icon at the top here. Okay, down to this one here, and again, we can just duplicate it. And again, resize it. And for this one, we can actually rotate it, allowing it to fit on the edge here. So it looks like it's balancing. And once you're happy again, you can group that together. And once again, resize it if you want to. This one is a little bit different. We can duplicate it. We can resize it right down. We can also change the height of the text. We can turn it around to 270 degrees and then we can have some fun and maybe pop it in here and line it up with the top of the U, the side of the H with the U. And again, once you're happy, you can pull this out if you want it to just be a little bit longer. Once you're happy, group them together again. And then finally this one, all we're going to do is duplicate this once. We're going to crop it. Then we're going to crop the other one, the other end of the text or the word. And once again, this is a really good illustration that if I want my text to line up with each other, so if I want the D and the N to line up, and then if I want the S and the G to line up, then I can perfectly resize this using that Alt or Option key to pull out that text. And once you're happy, again, select them both, group them together, and you've got one complete image. Once you've finished with all of these, you can go ahead and save as a picture again, so that you can have this as a logo or just as a piece of artwork that you can put on a newsletter or magazine cover, book cover, anything you like. But this really does give you far more versatility than if you try and do this all with just a text box. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.